Hoffman, who hope to someday have jobs in the medical field, are helping to make a dark time a little brighter. News Channel 9's Callahan Marshall was at their food delivery today. We can't thank you enough for being so selfless. And what you've done is so appreciated more than you'll ever know. Tears of joy in the upstate emergency parking lot on Thursday. Shabani Asmani and Celestin Wasso, both freshmen at Lemoyne College, making sure frontline workers get the energy they need for this fight. Make them feel uh, that they have support from other people, from other people in their communities. Feel to keep uh, work hard and hard in order to save lives. Both are from different countries and the first in their family to go to college, pursuing careers in the medical field. So they know a little bit about what these heroes face every day. They get, can get sick from hospital and they take those uh, virus to, to, the, to their family, but they try and they help in order to save lives. They thought some fresh Middle Eastern food should do the trick, hoping to bring smiles to 50 hardworking faces. We thank so much for their work and their education, putting their lives and the risk in order to save lives. We thank so much. Do whatever you can to um, appreciate the people around you, the people that will work to um, keep us safe. As you can see, support from the community goes a long way. In Syracuse, Callahan Marshall, News Channel 9. Sure does. The Northside Learning Center raised $1,000 for the meals. Sinbad Middle Eastern Restaurant made the food. Last week, 50 meals were delivered to St. Joe's.